I am so excited to be joined by Alexandra Daddario, whose show Anne Rice's Mayfair Witches comes out on January 8th on AMC Plus and AMC. I've spent years building the life I thought I wanted, but there's something inside of me something that I can't explain. I'm going to ask you five questions. For question number one, you'll give me one answer. Question number two, you'll give me two answers, and so on and so forth. Are you ready to get started? I absolutely love the series. The show is based on Anne Rice's best-selling trilogy, The Mayfair Witches. Now you play a neurosurgeon in this who discovers that she's an heir to a family of witches. If you had to inherit one superpower, what would it be? I would want to um, fly. When I was younger, I always wanted to be invisible so I could hear what people were saying about me, but I don't want that anymore at all. Um, I don't want to know. Um, like, I'd, I'd love to have the power to heal. How amazing would that be? Now, I've been a fan of your career for a long time, uh, from New Girl to True Detective to your Emmy nomination for White Lotus. Congratulations on that. The chemistry was there. You've shared a lot of scenes with a lot of different people. Who are two co-stars? that you shared scenes with that surprised you the most? Interesting, um, Sir Ben Kingsley I worked with. Um, I don't know what I was expecting, but um, he was so funny and kind and, but he said, he, he said, he was so honest and direct and, um, and I really, I just adored him. But I think I was, I think I was taken aback by I was like, oh my God, Sir Ben Kingsley's so warm and so funny and so wants to like be friendly. What'd you tell him? I didn't tell him anything. Nothing. No. Uma Thurman, I remember being so impressed by how she came in. This was in the first Percy Jackson movie. This was a long time ago. Again, I was young, so you'd like see everyone, you're like, whoa. Um, but I just remember her being, she was so invested in the role and in what she was doing and and was so, it wasn't just that she was coming in and doing this part, she was so invested in the process and I was so impressed by that and I, I learned a lot from her. So I suppose it's a little late for an apology, huh? You suppose correctly. Name three spooky or fun things that you learned while filming the show. Well, that everywhere in New Orleans is haunted. <laughs> Everything's haunted, the, the city's haunted. I mean, I learned a lot about witchcraft. There were two Wiccans on, on set and I learned a lot about witchcraft. It wasn't that spooky to be honest. I guess that's not the right answer, but I I, uh, I learned a lot about, um, about this sort of like going back to nature and the kindness aspect of witchcraft as it's practiced by Wiccans. People, people in New Orleans, they've seen ghosts. Everyone believes in ghosts, they've seen them. I've never seen a ghost. If you open your mind, you can be transformed. Now your character plays a neurosurgeon, which I'm sure was so fun to play. If you weren't an actor, name four professions that you would be doing. Teacher, um, pop star. Can you um, say? Are no, you afraid? But I, if, if, if we're talking fantasy, <laughs> Give me a good voice and I'll figure out the rest. Lawyer, although I'd probably be a bad one because I would be so nice to everyone. I'd be like, oh, just, we'll figure it out later in the contract. Um, I guess doctor, I like to help people. And finally, give us five reasons to watch Anne Rice's Mayfair Witches on Sunday, January 8th. It's entertaining. You will laugh at times. You will definitely cry. It's scary. And Anne Rice was a fascinating woman who told these stories for really distinct reasons. And so you get to learn more about, um, about the story that she wanted to tell and why. And everyone should go Google her and dive into who she was and why she wrote these stories. This is power goes way back in your family. Alexandra, thank you so much for joining me. Everyone, be sure to check out Anne Rice's Mayfair Witches when it premieres on January 8th on AMC Plus and AMC.